Encore, encore, encore! What a wonderful play! Hi, welcome back to It's Stars in Time. So if I am remembering correctly, at this point, we have done just about everything in the game. Today, today we will finish the last few side quests. And then after that, we're heading on to the ending. We are, we are that close. We are at the end. So, yeah, let's go finish up the last two, maybe three. I think just two, two side quests. That's what we're doing today. Let's save real quick. All right, let's get going. So the first side quest I want to complete, we want to go talk to Isabeau. Seafreen, you're up! Enter Miravel. Hey, Mira, have you thought about doing a sleepover tonight? Oh, I was actually just thinking about it. What do you think? Absolutely, I'll let everyone know. You're right. We don't have a moment to lose. But wait, do you know where everyone... Talk to you later, Mira. Okay. We tell Mira Bell about the carrot method so she can learn that one skill. Wait, how did you know about... And wake. Okay. Mirabelle learned the craft skill Adorable Moving Shield again. We watch her go. Okay, I was wrong. It is three side quests we need to do today. First, Isabo. First, we're talking to Isabo. Hello, Isabo. Isabo is here, probably pondering what favor to ask the tree. Isa, Thief, woke up on the wrong side of the bed. I get it. Anyway, I was just looking at the favor tree. Isn't this tree cool? Cute joke. Yeah, it is. Glad you agree. We're not going to do the joke. No, we will always make the joke. We have to keep some sort of routine to keep stay sane. And if always making the joke is how, so be it. Uh-huh. Tremendous tree. Ha! Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. We both laugh. We take a step back. He does not reach towards us. Huh. That was funny. I'm going to go soon so you can do your thing with the tree, but do you want to talk before I go? Okay, my turn. Hmm, what's a good joke? What for? Well, to make you laugh, duh. You always make me laugh with your puns, so it's my turn. But why? Uh, because we're friends? Do you not? Never mind. A funny joke, a funny joke. Isabel looks around and seems to notice a clock tower in the distance. Ah, oh, I know. Do you know what I think about 6.30? The time? Yup. I don't know, what? Well, I think 6.30 is hands down the best time of day. Oh, you knew this one. Hey, it's okay, I have others. Hmm, yesterday I bought like 10 watches. Do you know why? I don't know, Isa. Because I have a lot of time on my hands. Oh, you knew this one too. Tough crowd, tough crowd. Hey, stupid, maybe smile when someone tells a joke. Okay, uh, last chance, Isa, though. Don't mess it up. Oh, okay, so, why shouldn't you take up time travel? <laughs> why, Isa? Easy, because there's no future in it. <laughs> oh no, we can't stop laughing. <laughs> See, I knew I was going to get it eventually. We keep laughing. <laughs> we just can't stop. Tears run down our face. Whoa, hey, Seif. Oh no, oh no, we're laughing too much. We've been laughing for too long, stupid. He's going to think we're weird. Stop laughing. We try. Breathe slowly. Oh, come on, stop it. Flew. Flew. Okay. So, sounds like I should become a comedian, huh? We try not to start laughing again. We wipe our face. I needed that, I think. Yeah, looks like you really did. What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Oh, so we're just gonna ignore the hysteric laughing and crying, huh? Yep. Okay, but only for now and only because it's you, Steve. We smile. Isbo hesitantly smiles back. We got a memory of puns! We'll always remember this. When memory of puns is equipped, your fighter will have a higher chance to do a critical hit. Do you want to talk a little more? About something else, maybe. Uh, I think I need a little bit of space. Okay, I'll be going now. I'll see you at the clock tower later, yeah? 
All right, let me just mark off that we got Isabeau's memory of puns. That was the last side quest for Izabo. That is his third and final one. Ha! No, that's a great joke, actually. Too bad it just happened to land at the exact wrong time. And oh, hey! We have every memory in the game. That's all of them! There's still two more side quests to do. Uh, and that is finish off, finishing off Loop's conversations. And then also one special one that is very important we do. I recommend everybody does this other side quest, but first, Loops Conversations. Hey, you Stardust! How can I help you on this wonderful new loop? Let's talk about something. Sure, what do you want to talk about? We don't want to talk about anything. I don't think we have much more to chat about, Stardust. What else is there to say, really? Come back later, though. Maybe we'll have something fun to talk about then. Okay, I think in that case, I need to use the dagger more. See you later, Stardust. I believe we need to use the dagger 10 times in order to get the next conversation. And then the very last conversation is locked behind doing every single conversation. So, back into the house so we can just start looping repeatedly. Um... Yeah. That was gonna be... This is gonna be pleasant. I'm sorry in advance. Alright, so... I guess... Loop ahead, like... Ha! He fell and broke his neck again. Hilarious! Yeah, I guess skip ahead like a minute or two. Uh, just scrub ahead until we're not in the house anymore. And we're just gonna... Yoink! Stabbing time. We're gonna do five times and then see if that's enough. No, let's just do ten. Let's just... Let's just do ten. Just to be absolutely certain. Back to the stage. That's one, so this is two. Stabbing time. Back to the stage! This isn't traumatic at all! Stabbing time! That was three... We'll stop at seven, I think, actually. Back to the stage! This is four? I've already lost count. Oh no, that's bad. That's not great. We'll call it four, and we'll stop at seven. Back to the stage! Not losing my mind at all here. This is five. Back to the stage! Two more. This should be six. And next one, we're gonna loop back to Dormont. Back to the stage! And yeah, this time... Back to Dormont. If that's not enough, I'm going to be a little bit salty. Back to the stage! One more time! Seafreen, you're up! Yeah, hi, Mira Sleepover. Yes, goodbye. Hi, also carrots. I know where everyone is, and also carrots. Uh, you should know about them because they give you shields. Bye, Mira. I'm being glared at. Listen! Listen! This is... I'm, I'm just trying to go for 100%. You don't gotta judge me. I know it sucks. I know this is fucked up and horrifying. Hi, Isa. Right, let's, uh... Let's get... Let's go away. I need to do the... 
favorite tree thing, and I'm, I need space from you. I'm sorry. Okay, Loop, I swear to God. Hey, you Stardust! How can I help you on this wonderful new Loop? Let's talk about something. Sure, what do you want to talk about? My turn. You've been using that dagger of yours quite often, aren't you? Stars, it's faster. Ha, it sure is. I just wish you wouldn't. But I know you won't listen to me on that point. Well, what, will something happen if I do it too often? Not really. I, if, it's, if anything's gonna happen, I suppose it already is. Yeah. All right. One last conversation. See you later, Stardust. And I'm pretty sure this one is... I'm pretty... This one requires you to see every prior conversation. If you get the dagger, you also have to have the dagger conversations. But if you don't get the dagger, I think it's fine. But once you have met that requirement of having every prior conversation, uh, with or without the dagger, we're a living comedy sketch. Uh, once we've met that condition, I want to say it is random if we get it. So this may actually take a little bit. Ha, <laughs> he fell and broke his neck again. Hilarious. Very, very funny. Classic slapstick. Seafreen, you're up! Enter Mirabelle. Hey, Mira, sleepovers. Yes, we're going to have a sleepover. I know where everyone is. I'm going to let them know. Also, uh, carrots. Carrots will t teach you about shields. I don't, don't, don't explain it to me. I don't understand. Okay, well, the change god is at least not being too judgmental this time. Maybe change god just hates me using the knife. Hi, Iza. I need to talk to Loop. I need to do the favor tree thing. And also, I need space from you. I'm so sorry. Uh, listen, I, Seafreen, am just having an absolutely rotten one. Just the worst possible. Hey, you Stardust. How can I help you on this wonderful new Loop? Let's talk about something. Sure, what do you want to talk about? I don't know what to talk about. Me neither. I suppose we've talked about a lot of things already. Hmm. Well, the universe said there was nothing more to talk about, I guess. You know what this means, don't you? We do. So that's it? We've used up all the conversations we had available to us? We can't talk anymore? Well, we can't chat anymore, that's for sure. But... If you need advice or help with anything, I'll still be here. So, even if we can't chat, please come by and say hi still, hmm? Um, th thank- Thank you, Loop, for chatting with me. You can be a pain and annoying, but I really enjoyed our chats. So, thank you. Oh, Stardust! I was just about to say the same thing! It's like you read my mind. <laughs> we and Loop smile sadly at each other and wait for the universe to lead us once more. Anyway, how else can I help you on this wonderful new loop? All right, that is the second to last side quest done. See you later, Stardust. They gently wave us goodbye. All right, last side quest time. For this, we're going to head back out into the main area of Dorma. Eh, we don't need to go this far. And... Actually, you know what? Perfect. Perfect place. A nice silver coin that has followed us even through time. We flipped the coin in the air a few times. We grip the coin tightly between our fingers. We grip the coin tightly between our fingers. The further in the game you are, the more likely it is to work. And, once we have done certain interactions in the house, and in general, that will also increase our chances. We remember, before we became stuck in time, we passed through a little town for supplies. Everyone had things to do, but we were so stupidly hungry that we could barely think, so we stopped at a boulangerie nearby. The boulanger was an old man, but strong. Looked like he woke up smiling every day. Even then, with the threat of the king looming over everyone. Wordlessly, we pointed at a croissant showing some coins. 
Silently, smiling, he got us our pastry, took our money, and gave us one silver piece of money back. We both said thank you at the same time. And we both froze. Apart from Isla and Mira, who have the same accent, we all have very different ways of speaking the same language. Makes sense, as we all come from different places. Through our travels, we met a lot of people with Mira and Isa's Vogardian accent, a few with Bonnie's coastal accent, and even fewer with Odile's Kabuan accent. But our accent stayed unique, foreign. The Belanger's accent was the same as ours. Without breaking eye contact, the old man grabbed our arm. His eyes were stunned, fearful, hopeful. And he said, Young one, where are you from? And we couldn't answer. There was no way we could answer. How could we answer? Did he know? Did he remember? Could he answer? Was he asking us? Taunting us? Could he remember the lights still? The shapes they cut in the darkness? Their stories? Did they beat on his chest still? Were they still warming up his heart? Could he speak to them and everything into existence? Could he say it? Let the words out. Did he remember? Did he remember? Did he remember? Did he remember? We left the boulangerie running. We could see the night sky dotted with lights, but our chest was empty. When we ran back, we thought about how we'll always forget about the things we love. It's an immutable fact, but we don't want to forget about our family members. Ever. 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 No matter what, we'd make sure that we would always remember. We ate the croissant when we got back to everyone else. It didn't taste like anything. Nope. Apologies, Loop. Didn't mean to get that close. Just need to be... Right about here is good. We look at the coin. You can get so fixated sometimes. You don't need to swear a croissant because of what happened. You don't need to keep that coin to remember what happened. You don't need to keep that coin to remember them. Those rituals won't accomplish anything. We don't want to hear this right now. How could you understand how I feel? Heh, <laughs> you're right. I can't understand you. After all, I don't know what it's like to feel your home slip out from under you. To feel cut off from everything. To want to remember it all, no matter what. How could I? Look at me, Stardust. Look at my face. Do you really think I'm supposed to be here? Do you really think I can't understand what it's like to not have a home I can go back to? To see reflections of it everywhere I look, but without the connections that come with it? Do you really think I don't understand wanting to remember everything I left behind? I'm a star, but do you really think that it warms me up? That my chest isn't empty still? And even now I'm alone. No one can understand what I'm going through. And the only person that could is... Is... That's it. That's all you get, T. We feel like we understand Loop a lot better now. That is the final side quest in the game. You should do that one. Vital fucking backstory. And also, leads to something important later on. Now then. With every single side quest in the game complete, except for getting one to max level, which I think I'm just not gonna do because that is. We got really fucking close. The only thing I need left is getting Seafreen to level 99 and then getting everyone else to level 75, and they're basically already there. I think I'm good on that. So, next time on Stars in Time, let's finish our investigation into Wishcraft. Let's ask the townsfolk what they know, what they wish for. I'll see everyone next time for that. Also, I'm going to go for strength to keep moving forward.